today I'm going to be doing the second episode of my top 5 apps. So it's going to be on multimedia right now and they're all free so um, that's great obviously and before we start i want to give a big shout out to tech kit 1000 he's the one who made this awesome wallpaper thanks dude uh i think it's really creative and i really like it uh though next time uh if somebody wants to make me wallpaper be sure to do it in widescreen and not by four by three and by do it by 16 by nine and not four by three because after i have to rescale it and sometimes it does not look as nice so let's go in the applications so uh they're not really in order of best and like least less least good or whatever uh so they're just all good uh so first off uh, vlc media player all the links will be in the description guys um so vlc can do a lot of stuff it can read your music and your videos the special thing is that on your videos it can read 99 percent of the format that exists if not 100 i think it reads all formats of video if uh, that exists so you never have the problem of uh oh that's not the good format or uh, that's not and also um if you got quicktime and flip for mac plugin uh it does not uh, sometimes you'll see that it's bad quality because of the plugin well with vlc it's like uh good quality uh vlc can also record your screen i don't know how apparently somebody told me that um it can also uh you can also browse shopcast tv so basically these are internet television channel no wait internet yeah internet te television channels uh it's not supposed to do this i don't know why it does this okay uh i'm back so uh it was a weird like uh i don't know problem or something so as i say you can browse shoutcast tv so internet television uh so you can just go on uh, whatever tv channel so i'm just going <laughs> So that's a uh, music uh, channel, obviously. So there are a lot of them, like hundreds uh, of them. You can just go and watch them, whatever you want. Uh, it can be funny, but these are not the official uh, TV channels. These are internet uh, channels. So that's for number one. Uh, then number two, we've got Handbrake. I wasn't sure if I was going to put this in multimedia or utilities, but it ended up in multimedia. So basically what Handbrake does, uh, you can select a movie or a DVD and it can rip um, the movie or the DVD uh, of your hard drive and then put it on your iPod and here you've got a few presets. So for example, you want it in iPhone format and then you got got it in, in iPhone quality or size. So that's quite cool. Not a lot of things to say about Handbrake. It's quite self-explaining, well, as I just said. Um, so third simplify media uh it's to sync all your media um with all your computers and your iphone uh, sim yeah there you go so when you start up simplify media uh, you're not going to see a lot uh it's only you just need to log in and then obviously you can uh go through your itunes uh or f through your iphoto for your photos and your music or just through folders you don't need to have itunes or iphoto if you don't want to um so you log in and then basically uh, the first time you start it up, it's asking you for setting up where you want to synchronize it with and what. And then once you have it, you can install it on Linux, so Ubuntu, uh, Linux and Windows. Uh, and then you can synchronize with all your computers and includes as well as your iPhone. Uh, one thing for all, all, the, all on the computer things, it's free, but on the iPhone, I think it's $4, 450 forgot so that's basically uh, simplify media you don't really see it um, the only thing you can really see on the computer is the photo viewer and then you can watch your photos uh, you uh, you synchronize through iPhoto so yeah here for example and you can just go and got my pictures there so that's for a uh, simplify media uh, I'm just gonna quit that right now so then for the um, fourth or fifth so I got two things here, Boxy and Plex Media, and they basically do the same, but uh, I think, well, no, actually, I think they're both good, so that's why I both want to show them to you guys, so I'll start with Boxy. So Boxy has one extra thing that Plex doesn't have, is the iPhone app, which I'm going to show you because it's really, really cool. Uh, I liked how they made it. So basically, Boxy, you can browse all media, watch uh, videos, 
uh, DVDs, uh, videos off your hard drive as well, and just watch uh, TV shows. So, for example, I'm going to all my applications. Applications are not the actual software, but applications, it's basically the channels, or how are you going to call it? So, you can go to CNN, and then basically you go, you can watch like most popular, and then you can watch those videos. So, it's quite self explaining. Uh, <coughs> sorry. So, uh, you can browse, so for example on YouTube you can also search and then directly watch YouTube videos from this, it's quite cool. And yeah, so for the iPhone app, I just wanted to show you this guys, because it's really cool. Uh, the iPhone app does crash sometimes, but not all the time. So, um, I think it's it, it's still really cool, even if it crashes sometimes. I hope you will be able to see this, but basically um, when you start the app on your Mac, it's automatically going to find it on your iPhone, as long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi. And then you got this uh, remote thing, and you got those arrows, and basically when you go down, it goes down, and right, and then you can go to the menu, and then go down to uh, whatever applications, or, uh, or movies, whatever. So you can do that, and I think that's quite cool, and I've got a th second thing, which is gestures, and basically you got this boxy icon, and you can move this around to actually move, like, like a joystick, that's quite cool. So for example, I'm going to the right. So you'll see, you see this all mirrored, but uh, I'm going to the right and then want to go down. So it's actually, you can set the sensitivity and it actually works quite well. Uh, so you can just, uh, by clicking on it, you can just, it enters. So uh, that's for the iPhone app, really cool, I thought. Uh, so that's for Boxy, then I've got Plex. I'm just, let me put this away. Uh, so then I've got Plex, if this wants to quit. Okay, there you go. Plex. So Plex uh, is uh, also really, it's just basically the layouts that change and it does not have such a cool uh, iPhone app uh, though. Oh yeah, by the way, Boxy is as well, not only for Mac, uh, it's also for PC and Linux. Uh, so here you can watch your videos, go to App Store. App Store is as, as, as the same as the, the Boxy thing, uh, basically it, it's the not an app but the channel. <laughs> So uh, he, you can watch your pictures, listen to your music, watch your TV shows, so you have to add TV shows, uh, movies, uh, watch your videos. So for example, I got to the App Store, and you can add a source, basically, like Cydia or stuff like that. And for example, I added YouTube, and then you can watch YouTube, or you can just search. You can search whatever you want, so I'm going to search myself. Myself. I'm going to search myself. Whatever. Uh, so you can just go to whatever uh, video and start right here. So that's quite loud, I don't know, whatever. Uh, so it goes directly in full screen and since my videos are in HD, it will also automatically go to HD. Uh, quite handy. Uh, so that's for YouTube and you can go to the App Store here and add channels. So they got, as Boxy, they also got CNN and, and that kind of stuff, uh, Apple movie trailers. The Mayo, Trailer Addicts, uh, Shotcut, a lot. There are a lot out there, and these are only a few of them. So, uh, that's quite cool. Oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, if I'm correct, oh no, I'm not correct. Whatever. Uh, I thought you could press on the ladder and it automatically goes to the, the ladder you pressed. Whatever. Uh, so, oh, yeah, you also got the cloud and the weather, but that's also for Boxy, so they both got that. And yeah, basically, otherwise, it's just the same as uh, Boxy, so you can change the skin and the appearance. Uh, Boxy does not have really the skin. Uh, you can change the background, though. Uh, but here you, you have a little more of preferences in text than in Boxy, uh, I must say. So I'm just going to quit this right now. So that's it for my top 5 in multimedia apps. Uh, be sure to subscribe to TechKid1000 for his wallpaper. If you want me to make, uh, if you want to have shoutouts, you can also make me wallpaper. Uh, I've, I made a video about that, so you can go check it out for the rules. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace.